Okay, there you go. Sorry, I forgot to turn the other, the, 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 uh, the mic on the head of the big camera. Apologize. Hello, everybody. What's going on? Happy to see you on this beautiful Saturday. It is bright and gorgeous sunshine outside, but it is cold. I think it's minus 22 with the wind chill, I think. <laughs> I wish we could share in your southern part of your state's weather, that's for sure. <laughs> he seems to be feeling better, Steph. Thanks for asking. He hasn't had any medicine, I don't think, at least once this week. So, um, yeah. Ah, da -da -da -da. Awesome. So, we're working on this Dresden flower patch. Uh, that's what's going on. This We tried to find... Uh, the company where this was purchased from, they don't exist anymore. So I'm terribly sorry. This pattern kit was all donated to the quilt shop uh, via uh, Claudette. And it is a 2003. The person who made it is Colette, C-O-L-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, Belt, B-E-L-T. And they it's from um, Clovis, California. C-L-O-V-I-S. It was Quilter's Paradise, Inc., but apparently they don't exist. So uh, I, I, all I can do is try and help and guide along the way. I don't think it would be too much of an issue to try and replicate this pattern, considering it's the Dresden and it's just a mix of blues and whites and with blues and stuff like that. So I was just kind of sorting things out. Read through the pattern. They have you adding a quarter inch seam allowance on each side of this little cutout here. It says use plastic, but I don't have any plastic. So what I did is I took this piece here and I added the quarter inch on either side. I used my little black marker and, and lined up just my ruler and added the quarter that they were asking for for the seam allowance because they wanted you to add it. And then I took this and just on a piece of tough cardboard, not flimsy paper because I'm gonna have to use this like oh, a lot of times to make some. So, and then I just put it on top laid the piece of paper on top of it and then I just put pin marks of where the spots were going to be and then I moved it away and took my ruler and lined up those little pin marks and that got me my little template that I need that I can use and I could put tape around this if I wanted to like a packing tape or something to give it a little bit more secure if I wanted to reuse and reuse and reuse but this is that yeah, that's how that's how I came up with instead of using a plastic so Gotta do what you gotta do. We didn't have anything here and I wasn't going anywhere. So Pop gave me the idea actually. So thank you very much, Pop. And uh, same, you have to add your quarter inch, a generous, it's a generous quarter uh, seam allowance on your outside circles as well. So this is the quarter circle that gets cut in four. And this is a full circle that ends up being in the center of the Dresdens itself. So that should be fun. <laughs> and I have this uh, wedge here. It's a 10 degree wedge ruler, but it is not the same. It's not anywhere the same where I could have used it. So, and I really wanted to be able to follow this pattern with that angle. It has a wider edge. It's wider up at the top here. So I, it just wasn't gonna work. So I had to make my own. Yeah, I think it worked fine. You know, as long as you put the pin marks and you line up the your ruler along the pin marks and you're good to go. And if it's just, it, it's exactly what I needed it to be. So it only adds the quarter inch on the sides, not the top and the bottom. So just the sides, it's asking you to do that, okay? So that's what's gonna look like in the end. It is beautiful blues. I love blues too, and I'm hoping there's gonna be a little bit left over. <laughs> Maybe I can make a, um, a, a pillow or something like that. So that's gonna be the layout of it. It's going to be very nice. This is the fabric here. This beautiful blue with the white flowers is the outside. That's the very top corner squares up here and all the way those half, um, ha the, sorry, what are they called again? I just want to have the proper word here. A quarter triangles and the side triangles. Those are all that from that one fabric. And then all the rest of the whites and creams in there are all the stack here of 15. So is that beautiful? Beautiful. Love that. Love it. If this turns out, I might give it to my mom for her birthday. It's in May, May 14th. She'll be 74. And I think she would really like something like that. I think. 
I think. Well, she did, you know, she did manage a, uh, not, a flower shop most of my life, so I think she would appreciate the flowers and like the, the pattern. She does like blue and she likes yellow. She never was a fan of orange though. I don't know why. Maybe because she was an Auburn head uh, herself. Oh, yeah, no close-up camera due to, yeah, hardware issue. Sorry about that. So you won't be able to see anything of what I'm sewing here unless Pop kind of zooms in in that section, but I don't know if he can or not. So, all right. So for the background fabrics, that's this stack of 15 here. It says we need to ca cut 60, six zero, nine inch squares, okay? And then for the set in triangles, that will be that one. So but we'll cut the some of these uh, backgrounds first. And then we'll work on the set in triangles. I haven't cut anything. I've just ironed a, that a little bit. Well, happy early birthday. Actually, it'll be all your moment. Well, we'll see you Saturday. So we can wish you a happy, 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 happy birthday, Pat. Happy, happy, happy birthday, Pat. <laughs> uh, it's a good day. It's a beautiful day today. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Happy to see everybody. <laughs> We had a great show on Thursday with our spontaneous sort of day live stream. It was only about three hours. I didn't know how long it was going to take to put the quilt top together. So I wanted to be able to allow for extra just in case. But I did get some of the other baby stuff I needed to get done of the weekend project, as you guys saw. I got those all quilted up, and they were all gone by Friday morning with pop. So I was like, whew, get that out the door. That was a lot of work. <laughs> but the, I love the Quilt of Valor, the Quilt of Valor number one. We haven't come up with a name for it yet, have we? No. What about Ranger? Yeah? I don't know. What do you think? Should we name the quilt? Thursday's quilt? Should we, re should we name it? Mm. Where are you going to be, Kelly, that you can't be here? I want to know. No. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. <laughs> Chile in Florida? I hope not. What? That's not possible. <laughs> Hello, June Kopeck. How are you? The lady Kopeck. <laughs> you have lots of blue fabric, Rose? This would probably be a nice project for you to work on. If you have a wedge ruler, it's probably smaller, like maybe an eight or a seven degree wedge ruler. So. Loads of company. Hello, Niku. Happy you're here. Happy everybody's here. A lot of 74 old young quilters just turns out. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I like it that age is really just a number. Really. I'm, I'm 47, so I'm just the opposite of most you guys this year. I'm not, actually, I didn't realize that. I'm the opposite of my mom this year. She's 74, I'm 47. That's neat. <laughs> 76 here in Costa Mesa, California. I'm coming. I'm coming, Kathy. That's it. I'm packing the bag. I'm out. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, too. I'm glad you're here, too. Oh, and then here was the templates for the flowers and how they have them placing it out. You cut 20 and then how you're going to line it up so you get it all on the angle. Oh, thanks, Marcy. I was happy you were there. I was happy everybody was there. <laughs> going to be watching but sewing. You get busy, girl. She's got lots of stuff to do. She's working on a weave, like a little basket weave with some beautiful colors of green and like it looks like a burgundy and pinks and stuff like that. I like it. It's very nice. All right, so now you know how I got my template without having a piece of plastic. This is how you can work stuff to your favor. Don't be frustrated. Just think about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So put that up to the side. There we go. It's going to be pretty, and it gives you lots of free, like... This right here is a, the interpretation of the flower. You could, if you didn't like the tulip, you could put a daisy. You don't like the daisy, put a something else. Put a big heart. You know, that's you are the creator. So, if if you'd rather have a nice big heart here in that spot as it's going around on their Dresden heart quilt, then go for it. Okay. So to make sure we're cutting our bits right. Here we go. There we go. 
<laughs> oh, and then it had, uh, it was uh, three quarters of a yard of this blue and white stripe. It actually kind of looks like a little bit of a rope in this blue part. It looks like a, uh, like a woven rope. And it should be um, an, enough for doing the binding. That's what they had said for the binding. I did look on the back and it said binding um, three quarters of a yard. So, and the other ones are a half or a third of a yard. So, and if this is, you know, 28, well, that's, you know, well, that's a half a yard, isn't it? What else? That was the only other big one in there. Uh oh, I don't want to mess this up now. The, all the other ones are all pretty much the same, like same size. That was the only one that was thicker. It said stripes on it, so I don't know. Wow. Lovely. Oh my gosh, there's a lovely little paisley in there. Oh, I can't wait to cut that. So you guys get to see it. All right, 90, 60 squares at 9 inches. Okay. Thanks, Brenda. Big hugs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, thanks, Gloria. We have a lot of fun. Life is short. Life is short, so you gotta have fun. So if it's telling you to cut 69 inch squares and that gives you what, three, I have 15. So I have 15 fabrics here, so well, that's three. Three nine inch squares from each one to make it even if we wanted to do it that way. But I'm gonna have to cut an extra one anyway. So you could almost do like a side baby quilt with the 15 nine inch by nine inch squares that you're gonna have on the side or a pillow or a pillowcase or something else. So, cause you're not gonna just, just cut this the, here to get your two and then flip it and flop it and get it another one. It's less work to just cut a second, right? Doesn't that make sense? If they're all gonna be the same, I should be able to get four, right? Get an extra bonus quilt in there. Or save it for a piece backing. Oh, we can put it, or make a strip or a couple of strips with the nine. What do you think? What do you think? Mm -hmm -hmm. The thoughts are flowing today. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hello, Lucy. Happy you're here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's like a little gingham, but with little little tiny little print on it, it's beautiful. I'm trying to make sure I have the right fabric for the binding there, I don't wanna mess things up. You like the backing idea? That's good, thanks Lois, I appreciate that. I, why not? Who wants to do extra work when you can just do the cut and the cut and the cut and put toss one square off to the side? That's 15, 15 squares. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Oh, I like that one, tiny little circles, one on top of the other. Love that, that's for our party. That reminds me of bubbles, bubbles. Okay, I think I have so far, I think I have the right one that was supposed to be the binding. So, oh, that's pretty with the leaf. I didn't go through all the fabrics yet. So now it's nice to be able to, to see them all and how they're gonna go together. You normally wouldn't think, okay, well these two, cause that's more on the creamy side, but it really does, it really all does go together. Hello Josie, happy you're here. Frosty in Utah. It's frosty out here too, dear. Minus 22 with the wind chill. I think it's only minus 10 or something like that without, or maybe even 18 or something. So minus 18. Love, 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 love. I love paisley fabric. I didn't realize I did love paisley fabric. Like I realized when I shop for pop and I dry, buy them dress shirts and stuff like that, I'd look for, you know, masculine shirts and, you know, some with a little bit of, you know, pattern to it and I would kind of tendency go towards paisley and I didn't realize that until I made a scrappy quilt out of all his dress shirts and I went and chopped up a bunch that were like you know 15 20 years old collars have gone the cuffs have gone but you know here down and the back and the sleeves were all good so chopped them up chopped them up made a big old scrappy quilt I think I gave it away and uh yeah I okay, can we're good we're good that's for the binding for sure this one I know I love Paisley too but I didn't realize I did I didn't realize it kept going there <laughs> kept going being drawn towards it all right, so if we need to do the nine inch squares, that's the first of the cutting instructions. I like to press each one first and then, um, and then we'll cut our two, because we need three. I wasn't wrong on the math there, right? We, if we have 15 fabrics and we need 60 bits, 
that's three of each. 15, 15, 30, 30 times two is 60. There, there we go, okay. Math is good today. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Love that, love that Paisley. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Beautiful, all right, so if this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, almost 12 inches long. That's not really gonna help us at all. But if we could, maybe we can think about this as getting an extra three inch or even a two inch uh, strip off of this. If we cut it at the nine inch this way by lopping all of this off, we save that. We can maybe make a, if we didn't wanna use this uh, for anything else, we can certainly, um, uh, use these bits as the binding as we run around. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I, cause then I can utilize this and go nine and nine and then I get my four squares and still have this lovely strip left over. That's, that, that, that'd be good. Okay, so we're just gonna turn it this way and make sure I'm getting my nine inches before anything else. That is the most important here is making sure I'm getting my nine inches for my squares. So I'm at the 20 here, and it comes just to between 31 and 32, so which is anywhere in between 11 and a half and 12 inches, which is, that's okay. So that's plenty of room. And I'm, I have it laid over the line on 20, so I'm giving that a cut. I'm giving that a trim first, and then we're gonna work our way to the nine, nine inch square. Okay, I just wanted to make sure we weren't making a mess the first time around. Pardon, check my math, what? Yeah. 15 and 15 is 30 and 30 plus 30 is 60. Am I wrong? I don't wanna cut this if I'm wrong. Okay. That's what I said, didn't I? <laughs> Is it a good math day or a bad math day, people? <laughs> okay, why did Riala think I was wrong? Is it a nine, you need a nine inch square. Yeah, three from each, but I'm, right. Because there's 15, fat, oh. Okay, 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 thank you. I needed clarification, I'm sorry. I'm brain farting. <laughs> so we would need the four. The four of them from, okay, so you only get a strip. Oh, is that what I said? I'm sorry if I said that. I, I'm clearly brain farting. <laughs> okay, so before, hold on, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 21, 24, 52, 56, 60, yes, you're right, thank you. Thank you, thank you, big hugs. We'll use the strip side part. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> you're right, it is four of each to make the 60 I need. Thank you, thank you. Brain fart. I appreciate your love, people. That's why I wasn't cutting until we were sure. <laughs> I probably did say I only needed to cut three because I was thinking I could use the fourth one as, yeah, I clearly was not right. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> it's okay. So we can keep that though. We can save that for something. Maybe do a bit of the backing and a strip of that and a bit of backing, a strip of that, or do it as a jelly roll 
as a piece or something like that with a bit of backing. That would be kind of funky, but almost like two quilts in one. Two, two, two quilts in one. I feel like a slap chop commercial. <laughs> okay, and now if we went to go this way, we cut it right on there, we missed a smidgey there, and we cut there, and that gives us almost another two inches. So either way, <laughs> yeah, I know, it was a nice thought. Clearly went right out the window. <laughs> oh well, there's bits, there are, there's always bits left over from any of these kits I've ever done so far. But this one is a 2003 kit, so I'm a little bit apprehensive. All right, so there's, that's what's gonna be left over from each strip, that's quite a bit. We could do stuff with that. We can make a fancy like log cabin or something with all those leftover bits, maybe the matching pillow or, or something like that. <laughs> Laura Lynn's math, always wrong. <laughs> All right, so let's put that there. And again, we'll press this. I knew we'd sort it out. <laughs> We're smart peoples. <laughs> Sometimes. I had a very long, busy day yesterday. Actually, this whole week has been busy. I've been putting in like... 12 and 14 hour days just to get stuff done, which is good. I'm not, I'm always complaining. Just with lots of other projects got going on and need to be able to keep up on it, so. Yes, I am very lucky to have you guys. <laughs> I know it, trust me, I know it. I am very lucky. Well, there's that. And then flip and flop. Scoot over to optimize as much as we can. <laughs> I love you too, Grace. Thank you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hanging out next weekend. Mm, all right, there we go. That's that one there. Look at us building my mops and beautiful blocks. <laughs> Thank you, Gloria. <laughs> I'm glad you feel the same way. All right, that's a cute little, it's kind of a unique paisley on this one. Hopefully the uh, small camera can pick that up as I get a bit a little iron here. It's kind of funky. It's got like a little flower design too and then a little hook there. So I don't even know if it's actually quite a paisley or not, but it looks like one. <laughs> ah, we're just working on this beautiful project, Miss Rebecca. And I'm just cutting the squares for it right now. I need four out of each little section. And then I got a little bit of strip left over that we can put to the back or something like that. There we go. Isn't that pretty? That's what we're working on. Yeah, and a math lesson. <laughs> <laughs> and how Laura Lynn sometimes does not know how to do math. It was a brain fart moment. I thought I had all my numbers right, but I didn't. That's okay. <laughs> Hello, Kiabi. So glad to see you too, darling. Loved your unboxing the other day. All sorts of projects and goodies. Fun stuff. I live vicarious through you and your unboxings. <laughs> I was always afraid to sign up for one, not knowing what I was going to get. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I don't know about these things. All right, moving it over. I want to get nine inches for these squares here. Yes, thank you to all of our Patreons. We greatly appreciate it. As well, you know, you get great rewards in the end. Beautiful quilts, full quilts to reward our Patreons. There's just there's nothing piddly going on here. It's all big, good stuff. <laughs> Quilt planners video today? Mm -hmm. Very nice. I'll have to check that out. Oh, I want to press this first. I want to press, I want to press, I want to press. The sun is shining, but it's minus 22. It's a good day to quilt or sew along with you. Mm -hmm. 
do, do. All right, now we want to take a little off the side so we can keep those strips to use them for something. Beautiful, something beautiful. Mm -hmm. There we go. <clears throat> Hello, Jacqueline, how are you? What was, oh God, yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true, but I didn't know. I didn't know there was more options when I first heard about them. So it uh, actually, it was, I think it was you who enlightened me on what was in those boxes because I was so curious and I happened to just, I, th I think I did a search where you might have popped up. That's how I got to know you. Well, well, know your channel anyways, Kia B. And uh, I was like, oh, okay, okay, that looks like fun. And, you know, and then you get to know each other, you know. Get to know each other, you know, well, I could, you know, get to know you sort of thing. It's not like you got to know me at the time, but. Mm -hmm. Send LL to X Factor? Why? Don't they, don't they kick you off on that? <laughs> Hello from Missouri, Miss Donna. Hello, Amy. Working on my least favorite part of quilting, putting backs together. Mm. They're not, that's not my least favorite. I think my least favorite is. I don't know. I, I don't mind it all. That's why I think I go, I go, I do it all. Like from, you know, I'd say the binding, putting all the binding on, whether it's machine or hand stitching or whatever, because you got to do the one time and then you got to flip it around to the other time or whether it's hand or whatever. So <laughs> thank you very, thank you very much, Jacqueline. <laughs> <laughs> Newberry UK it's sunny here though it is in the negatives I'm trying to keep chipper it's bright outside it's very very bright I don't even have the easy bake oven light on so it's an extra bonus day <laughs> I don't like the easy bake oven yeah I know sewing down the binding is like ah, but you know it's the end of the project and you just want to get it done and you're like yes I can do it I can do it this is the last part <laughs> it's the last part I can do it <laughs> So what we're gonna do with our Dresdens as we build them out with the blue fabric here, they're actually gonna be placed on these squares as a whole. So it's gonna be kind of extra thick in some of those sections where it's got this layer of fabric and then those four Dresdens going around in the half circle or quarter circle, sorry, pardon me, the quarter circle on this one. So it's gonna be interesting. I've never done anything like this and I'm very excited to, for the project. I was just trying to be able to work it in so I can share it with everybody. So I thought we'll start off the, the new year with this beautiful Weave It. Turned out awesome. Very, very happy with it. Two rows on your current project. You go, girl. Go, Claire. Go, Claire. Go, Claire. Go, Claire. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. We know you can. Oh, that's a nice straight line on that one. I think I'll keep that. All right, so six, seven, eight, nine. Double check. Six inch ruler and three over to the side. We're good. Hello, Nadine. Happy you're here. Hello, Nadine. We're happy you're here. Did, did, did. Thanks for showing up for the Thursday Quilt of Valor live stream. That was a lot of fun. I was hoping for like eight people at least. <laughs> and we had well over 80, in between 80 and 100 most, most of the time. So that was awesome for our first random day live stream. So that worked out very well. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, upload a video, please do, please do. <laughs> yeah, you can email a question right now and we can answer it right now, Deborah. So go ahead. QOV was fun. Thanks, Claire. It was fun. I think we're calling that quilt Ranger. What do you think? Do you think that suits it? I don't know why. I feel like I got to name each one because I want to put it on the label. You know, how we did it, that sort of thing. And it turned out beautiful size. What was it? 62 by 82? Awesome size. Very nice, can't wait to see it, Kelly. 
Oh, I did just because it was random Thursday, Marcy. I didn't know if anybody was going to be around. <laughs> People got jobs, you know. We can help with the case. <laughs> Thank you, Marcy. I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, maybe my daughter pillowcase. Very nice. Is that, um, I'm doing a pillowcase with each quilt of Aller too. So, and I realized the other feature fabric that I had, the blue with the green, wasn't enough to do the back. So I'm going to do the pillowcase out of that and leave a chunk of it for the back, as well as put like maybe two strips on either side for the, to finish off the back for it. Because it just wasn't quite enough. It was about 20 inches short from being able to use it as a pillowcase and the backing. I was like, ah, but that's okay. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> He's a good egg. We keep him. We keep him. He's the one and only, so we keep him. <laughs> this is pretty, too. It's very creamy colored in texture, and it looks like it's got little X's and O's as it runs up the lines here. And I think that would look very nice. You know, the Dresden's going over it sort of thing. It almost looks like a bit of a fence. It's pretty. Very pretty. Mm-hmm. After the show today, you have to get the quilter and get five baby blankets. Oh, busy, busy. Busy, busy. That's good. How, how, how? <laughs> Who are you asking there, Gloria? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you, Brenda? Because <laughs> I think you were at work, weren't you? <laughs> were you one of those rebels watching at work? There was a few of you. <laughs> oh, questions on the Weave of Bee? Okay. It had its moments. <laughs> I did mark a few spots with pins where I'd like to tweak the seam because I didn't really like the way it was sitting because I could visually see it just by looking at it, the glance of it, that it was a little off. So I'm going to fix those. I didn't get to it last night. My sewing student, uh, my 26-year-old from South Africa, he was here for two and a half hours yesterday. He was only supposed to be here for an hour, but he was very motivated to try and get his project finished. So, so he was here for... Uh, longer than anticipated, but we had a lot of fun, and he went home confident, knowing he could build something, and, and we worked on a dress and put pockets on, and we improvised the pockets, and he was like, oh, that feels so neat to be able just to just not follow the pattern and still be able to get it done, and yeah, it was really kind of nice. I loved it. I loved, I loved working with him. A super, super young man. I love his passion. He just wants to make things and clothes for his wife. And he wants to be able to, uh, you know, apparently the Zulu tribe is still one of the very most um, prominent tribes there. And the uh, panther, not panther, sorry, I apologize, leopard print uh, means you're, you know, superior in the tribe. So he wants to be able to make, you know, wedding garments and stuff like that out of that sort of fabric. And, and uh, he's just very, he's a very inspirational on his own. Like... I was very just thrilled to have him here and talk it over and help teach him, you know, the fabric and how to put shoulders in and uh, make sure the shoulders are to, to get, you know, which way is the right way and how to put sleeves and easing fabric in as they go along the curve of the shirt and how to do a cuff. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> da -da -da. Uh, pat on the side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, it, it takes you where you want to go, I think, anyways. I just found out how Twitch works the other day and how you can watch other streamers, not like quilters like us, but I mean, they're all a bunch of gamers, but there's some games that aren't bad to watch. Um, I was watching a bit of chess this morning. I couldn't understand the language of it was in, but it was still somewhat interesting because I don't even understand the sport, but, you know, knowledge is, knowledge is power and there's always a time to continue to learn, so... Mm -hmm. I'm learning stuff all the time. This is pretty too. It's got like a little leafy print to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we do. I got a lot of a lot of little bits to work on for the back, though, so I'm excited. 
Watch it from the laptop, says Diane. She did a cute video last week. Hope everybody went and clicked on it and viewed it. She was working on a project for the Quilt Marine. And I thought that was amazing and such a big giving heart you have, Diane57. So thank you so much, darling. That's awesome. Very inspiring. <laughs> That's uh, exactly why Tech Guy is so part of it. Yeah, you have to be. It's so part. <laughs> oh, is this one? You could buy it. We sold a few. It's very nice. And they're comfy. And they wash up well. I think actually I snatched pops this morning because I got a green one too, but it's a bit smaller. So when I put it on, I'm like, oh, this is comfy. <laughs> I'll be wearing this today. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. You have to share it with us, Kia B, please. I would love, love to help out with the Band-Aid quilts. Please, please share it with us. Put it on our mom and pop quilt shop mafia page. We, we are happy, happy to help. We can get, we can, I can get some of my local ladies to help out with that if I give them a bunch of fabric. I love the sewing machine. I love the sewing machine. Actually, I don't know where that sweatshirt is. Uh, when we first started and we didn't quite under know what our logo was going to be, I'm like, well, it should just be a sewing machine because that's what I do all the time. So, and this, that's what Pop designed and I love it. I love it. Well, aw awesome. Thanks, Kibby. Please do. Please do. Share, share, share. Let's get the, the knowledge out there. We are, it, it, we are quilters and we are loving bunch of people and we love to help. We don't quilt for ourselves. <laughs> we quilt for everybody else. So we are happy, happy to help. Happy to help. Let's get more acknowledgement on it, more recognition on it. And let's see how far we can, we can take this. Let's make it go, baby. We can make it go. There. <laughs> You're pretty amazing, too. Takes a strong person to get up there in front of the camera. And not care that you have alfalfa hair day. <laughs> Say, ah, well. I wore a hat the other day when I was thinking I was doing the weekend project because it would just not calm down. <laughs> I was on a video chat with Allison uh, Johnson from California and I could see it in the, in the video just kind of poking up at the back and I'm like, after we were done chatting because I had to do the video, I'm like, all right, it's not controlled, so put the hat on. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to reload my page because I'm stuck on something that's been there for a while and Hopefully that'll be okay. There we go. There we go. That's refreshed. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm just gonna take a little moment here. Finish some juice. <laughs> and his beard's really coming in. It's got little. It's it's kind of white and it's just coming in with this lovely little red red. It's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. So you only own one quilt now, Kelly? You gave them all away? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, please share in the channel if you're still here, Kia B, what a Band-Aid quilt is so everybody can hear it and read it as they review the video. Because we have lots of replays on it as well. <laughs> I did have no hair at one point in time. I, shaved, I, almost, I was sitting on it and I shaved it to, I used Pops Cutter and I shaved it all the way to the scalp and I donated it to cancer to, in honor of my mother-in-law. Yeah, I, I sat on it. He was so surprised when he came home. <laughs> he just kind of looked at me and went like, because it was extreme. I had beautiful, long, auburn, auburn brown hair, more auburn than brown. Uh, and I, I could sit on it and it was full. I have full, thick hair and I just shaved it. Shaved it right down. And then you can see some scars I had on my head <laughs> from accidents as a child. <laughs> but 
but that's okay. It grew in pretty fast. So, yep. It was one of the best things I, I, I felt I could do to help honor her. So, yep. Shave my head. I don't remember what it was. I think when we, I think it was 52 to 55 inches that we, uh, that I cut off. Aw, well, that's okay. Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, babe. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I felt that I had to. I need, not that I had to, but I wanted to. I wanted to. I had very, I had very unique hair because of, I started to grow a little bit gray white and I had a white patch for the longest time here but I comb my hair this way now so you can't see it, but in a lot of the videos that I had when I had a bandana on and I went like this, you could actually see I have a big, huge white patch and it's been there for decades. It's like when I met Pop, it was there. So uh, it was annoying as heck. <laughs> and it would never take to any dye if I tried to dye it. It would just, in the next day, it would be there like bright and white and gray, beautiful, silvery, shining in the sky. Mm. Awesome, thanks QB. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I just, I thought, you know what, this is, this would make a lovely wig for somebody. And they actually said, they sent me a note saying thank you. And that it actually I contributed to three wigs of what the amount of hair that, cause I have thick hair. I have thick and it's lots. Like there's, there's no balding going on here. I got, I got a lot of hair. So it was very nice to help, help that way. I felt, I, I felt like I was honoring her. So thank you. Thank you, Nadine. And thank you, Emily, for donating yours. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, it, that's not even a year for pop. If you go back in the videos, I think, yeah, I think it's only been about a year for that one, isn't it, honey? Year, maybe year and a half? Oh, no, it's not that long. <laughs> I'm not that short. Hmm. Wow, I guess so. What do I know? <clears throat> All right, let's do some more pressing and some more cutting. Yeah, we are giving com a community of quilters, like all of us, all anybody who sews and quilts. I mean, I don't think there could be a, a bad bone in our body, you know. Maybe there is, but I don't think so. We're good people, and we look after each other, and we want to help, and we want to give, and it's not about the thank you, because we mostly do it in silent anyways. Nobody knows we've done anything, so... There was a, um, uh, not a silent auction, but uh, uh, my friend, her daughter, um, had only like three second notice to get, grab her stuff and her cat before her house went up in flames um, because the apartment above had, they'd caused a fire anyways. So they had no renter's insurance. So I donated a quilt for them to either raffle off or keep for herself. I said that was her choice. She could have kept the quilt because she didn't, they didn't have anything. All she had literally was her boots, her winter jacket, and her cat, and her phone. That's all she had. So I felt, you know, what do you, what do, you do? How do you help out, right? So I said to her, I can help out with your, your fundraiser. Uh, I'll give you a quilt, but you need to decide, you know, you need to tell your daughter whether she, you know, her, it's her choice whether she keeps it or she can raffle it off and try and, you know, get money from it, right? So she came and picked it up yesterday and she was just thrilled with it. And she goes, oh, I don't know. That's a tough choice for my daughter. I think she's going to keep that. And I go, that makes me happy. So whether it's, whether they um, raffled it off and earned earned money to buy them what they need, like a couch or a um, dresser or whatever, or they kept it as something that they used every day. And to me, that's all that mattered. I knew it was gonna be loved, so. And I was, and I was happy for that. Yeah, exactly. Put the information on the Mafia page if you can. If you're not a part of the Mafia group or don't want to be, I totally understand. It's okay, you don't have to be. Uh, just, you can post it to our, um, just our, our regular Facebook page, can't you? Or we'll try and share stuff in the video in the comments you know, so when people later can go and look and click and stuff like that. Hopefully we can do that. <laughs> Hi, April. Good afternoon. Um, do it at, at high school? At high school? That, is that what you're saying there, Nikki? Mm -hmm. Hello, Barbara. Hello, anybody who's coming in. I missed you. I apologize. Sometimes the chat goes by and I'm chatting away. 
and I miss you and I'm terribly sorry. I do read afterwards and then I feel bad that I've missed you. Like Margaret Richardson last week, I felt we were missing her. For some reason, I didn't see, I don't, I didn't, I don't think I saw one thing that she posted, yet I know she did. She posted many times. She said good morning and good afternoon and was asking a question or two and for some reason, it just got missed. Well, I apologize. And good morning to all of our Australian friends. Good morning, good morning. Do -do 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 -do. Good morning, good morning to you. We miss you guys on Sunday. We do, we do, we do. Don't think we don't, because we do. <laughs> Hello, Pauline. Halfway down your quilt. Holy moly, Grace. You've been just quilted up a storm. Quilting up a storm. She's got her mother's quilt done that she, her mom wanted. So I'm going to see that next Sunday when we go and meet for our lunch or dinner. I'm not sure what we're doing yet, but we'll figure it out. And uh, and then now she's working on this one. She's almost done. My goodness. She's a woman on a mission. What you making for dinner, Anne? In the UK. Yeah, lots of snow here too, Billy. Yep. If you, if you're uh, uh, a friend of mine on Facebook, uh, like Laura Lynn Fulford, F-U-L-F-O-R-D, um, you'll see I took a video yesterday morning of how the weather was on Crossing Guard. That was not fun at all. And it was minus 22 or 26 or something like that. So <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> that was not fun. <laughs> I probably wouldn't. <laughs> That's not why you guys are here, <laughs> right? <laughs> Do I line this up a bit better. We need nine. I don't think I pressed this one, did I? Nope, I didn't. Oh, I'm trying to do a short change there. Sausages, potato wedges, baked beans, and fried egg. Yum. Yum. We had leftover dinner for lunch today. And I think Munchkin is going to be making a meat sauce with vegetables and pasta. And then tomorrow we're going to have a sweet potato shepherd's pie or meat pie. Where you mix all the meats together or meat and vegetables together and then you just slap it with either mashed potatoes or sweet potato on top. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a sweet potato style. Hello, Sammy D. Mm -hmm. I have, what, hold on, what's this one here? This one's the bigger one. I think this one's a 2X. Is it not, Pop? I think yours is a 2X. No, this is a 2X. And I'm no small chicken, so, you know. Pardon? Is it four? Okay, oops. <laughs> I think my other ones are two. So yeah, it's got, it's got some room. You know, I like my cookies and my tea. <laughs> Hello, Mary Jo from Minnesota. Mary Jo from Minnesota. We're working on a project, Minnesota. Where'd it go? Where did the... Oh my gosh, I'm already losing my stuff. I thought that had the picture here. Did I lose it? I know I showed it. Oh, here it is. There we go. We're doing that. That's what we're doing. This one's a four, a four X. And it's cotton and we've shrunk it. So, and it's comfy and it's comfy. Like, you know, you know me, I'm not no small chicken. It never was and never will be. <laughs> Even as a kid, as a big brute. <laughs> they are soft, aren't they, Lois? Yes, you have one. They're super soft. They're very comfy to wear. I don't even realize it. Sometimes I go to put it on and Pop goes, oh, for advertising today? I'm like, well, I just wanted a comfy shirt. <laughs> I'm putting this one on. <laughs> yes, we are advertising today. <laughs> Do 
do do do do do Oh, good. Thanks, Sharon. I was going to ask you, too, how you were feeling, because I know you were very much under the weather. And there's nothing worse than being under the weather. Especially when you know you have so many things you'd like to do and get done. And you just can't get them done. Do. All right, now we go eight, nine. That goes up there. This goes over here. So this is here and here. Yeah, we could build out quite a bit with these extra bits, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, only two more to go. Mm -hmm. I'm glad, Sharon. I'm glad. There's nothing worse than feeling ill. I'm, it, you're just so down and you just don't want to do anything. And, but you know you want to, but you just can't. Just, it's blah. And then you feel like you're battling yourself because you're like, you want to feel better, so you take the meds, and then, you know, you don't want to take the meds because it tastes horrible, or, you know, gotta do it. Excellent, Grace. Yes, she's been battling cancer, but she's so far so good. Kick that butt. Kick that butt like a frozen muckaluck. <laughs> if you're not sure what a muckaluck is, it's a shoe. <laughs> and there's lots of those up here in Canada. Frozen shoes. Do do. Mm hmm. <laughs> we haven't had it in a long time. I think the last time we talked about it with everybody was the last time we had Shepherd's Pie. So that's why I thought, oh, yeah, that would be nice, especially with sweet potato. Mix it up a little bit. Put some cauliflower in with the sweet potato and pulverize it to all the bits and pop it on top. And there we go. We've tried to cut out some cheese and the dairy out of our diets. Um, you know, we think it was making our tummies upset, not realizing. So we're just trying to pinpoint exactly what's bothering us. And so far, we just tried to eliminate cheese, cheese and dairy. I have a little bit in my tea, but that's about it. Another beautiful paisley print. Hello, Mr. Magoo. You want to say hi to everybody? Come here. Come here. Don't go hiding in the window. Come here. I can see you today. Hi. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Hi. Hang out here. Mommy's got to press this. Oh, mommy's got to press this a little bit. Hmm. I'll put this over here. Okay. Do do do. Do 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 do. I can't cut with you in my arms, but I can still hold you a little bit. Can I, Mr. Kive? Thank you, I, Mr. Kive. Mr. Clive, Mr. Clive, Mr. Clive Magoo. So cute. So cute, this little motor's going. <laughs> Kate Cat says, hi, Clive. And I'm sure Omni would say hi, Clive, right now, too. Mm -hmm, from Sassalette. <laughs> She's loving it. <laughs> there we go. Here you go, buddy. He was headed to the window <laughs> to get some sunshine. I don't blame him. He tried to go near the back of the, the door. Uh, Munchkin was leaving to head down to the store to grab some something for, for uh, oh, ju some juice. And um, <laughs> and he went like two paws near and went, ah, I'm out. I'm like, I didn't think you'd want to go outside. <laughs> it's a bit cold out there. Mm -hmm. He's a good cat. He really is a good cat. Even my sewing student says, I've never met, never met such a nice cat. And I'm like, he's a good cat. As much as we may sometimes whine about him when he does the thunder paws at 5 a.m. ripping across the house, you know. Well, that's it for that. Those are our nine pat nine inch squares, and we have all this left over. I'm sure we can build something out about that. We can maybe put uh, this as the light end of a log cabin, and maybe some other blues or something, and make a, a double double sided quilt, or make a whole other quilt. Yeah, so that's all we have left over for those. That's a, that's a lot. 
I'm just gonna, where should I put him? Put him over here. There we go. Mm -hmm. So everybody who won from the 10,000 uh, subscribers, we're almost at 11,000 now, we're almost halfway there to 11,000, so excited. Um, between 10,000, 10,500. And uh, yeah, and you should get your stuff this week if you haven't received it already. I'm assuming this week. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's cut our squares we need out of this because that's our outside fabric. I'll put it up to the small camera here so you can see this is this is the small the fabric we're going to cut right here right now. Runs all the way around the outside. It's pretty, isn't it? That's our outside uh, squares and triangles. Set in corners and triangles. Yeah, that's all there. Isn't that beautiful? That's all that on the outside. And this is a 2003 pattern. It's done by Quilters Paradise, but they don't exist anymore. And this quilt kit was gifted to the quilt shop from Claudette from California um, about mid last year to early last year. And uh, we're just putting it together now. Isn't it pretty? Sorry, I kept wandering off with the pattern. <laughs> Apologize. I'm talking to you and wandering with the pattern. <laughs> It is pretty. It's going to make a lovely outside uh, corners for sure. Oh, I think I'm going to go this way because that's the width of fabric. Beautiful. And I thought lovely the, the flower prints. And I thought my mom would love it because, like I said, she pretty much raised me in a flower shop. Um, that's what she, that was her, she was a manager of flower shop the whole time I grew up. So, and I was there watering the plants with her and helping the customers and dusting the shelves and playing with the glue and getting into trouble and breaking the vases and... Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. I was quite the disturber. All right, so where is our, oh, we're on this side still, okay. Isn't it beautiful? It is, and especially all these blues. All these blues, I'll put them up here uh, so you can see some of those, that's just a little bit, uh, are gonna be the Dresdens. Isn't that pretty? It's beautifuls. Okay, so for the set in triangles, the side triangles, which are the ones that go down the side of the quilt and the top of the trousers to make it out because this is on point, uh, sort of thing, I guess. And then the corner triangles. Okay, so for the set in side triangles, we need 13 inches cut on the diagonal into quarters. So I need 16 triangles, so that's four pieces, right? Math is good today. They are applique down onto these squares. These squares that we've been cutting here, they get applique down, sewn down. I don't think you can buy the kit, Christine, I'm sorry. We went looking before so we can give you guys information, but it's a 15 year old kit. So, and it was gifted to us. The creator is Colette, C-O-L-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, Belt, B-E-L-T. And uh, all rights reserved, it says Quilters Paradise Inc., but they don't exist anymore. So if you want it for the backgrounds, you need 15, pr 15 prints at one third of a yard each. And then blues for the Dresden flower and border is 16 prints at a quarter of a yard each. Then there's yellow, which is here for the center of the flowers. And then the greenery for the stems and the leaves, and then the set in triangles, and then the binding. It says backing, you need four and a half yards. And fusible web, it says you need a yard. I'm assuming those are for the circles. Um, I think I might have to pick some of that up. I don't think I have any. And then batting to measure slightly larger than the finished top. With the finished top, should measure 70 by 70. And then that's it. And an optional size eight pearl cotton in green, yellow, or blue for hand buttonhole stitching around the flowers. So that's what it says. All right, so I don't wanna get confused. So I need 13 inch squares cut on the diagonal twice. So this over here, get this over here and I need four, right? 
four, eight, eight, and eight is 16. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so four. Might be able to get that out of here. I don't think so. We'll see though. I watch uh, Sophie's paws when she comes in because we have to put down salt all the time and she runs across it. So I, you know, just take a damp cloth and just kind of wipe her paws so she's not licking at it. I would hate for her to have to lick at, or lick at it and get sick. So. so there we go there. And that's a 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so 13 inches. Let's just make sure we're not making any boo-boo cut here. Four. 13 inch squares cut on the diagonal twice is gonna give us 18, or sorry, 16 side triangles. Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's do this. I like the big print on this one, that's blue and white. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Vaseline helps too, because it helps moisturize and keep uh, the from them uh, absorbing the salt as well too. All right, so that is two, four, six, eight. A little hairy bit here. Come here, you. Listen. All right, now we need two more of those. Hmm. That's only gonna get me one. And then what do I need out of this one? Is 12 and a half inch squares, two of them cut diagonal. Okay, well we could do that. Can't we? I think so. Mm -hmm. Special wax, yeah, that. yeah, I've heard of those too actually. I think it was in one of the, the, we have like a bark box here that you can get for your animals and it's all sorts of treats and toys and doodads for your, 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 your canine. And I think that was in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um, just because I saw it as a package. We didn't, we haven't ordered that for Sophie or anything. But I did hear about the paw wax. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. All right, as soon as this is done, we can start cutting some Dresdens. It's about time. Jeepers, creepers, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the two extra pieces here that were on the leftover bits from the 13 inch cut to get my 12 and a half. And I have that leftover that I didn't even have to touch. Isn't that pretty? That can go towards the backing. Oh, you get uh, bark box, do you? What, what's in there usually, Denise? I've been thinking about it. I thought that was going to be my gift to, for Sophie this year. So, but I've been kind of humming and hawing because I didn't know anybody who actually got it here. So, I'd like to know what's in your box. <laughs> That's not too personal. Uh, in your bark box. What was in it? What was in the bark box? And do they love it? Do they hate it? Do they, what, what does your critter do? Cause I feel she deserves it. She deserves something special for, for her to come every month. Surprise, new toy. Cause we always, we donate the ones that she doesn't play with anymore. We donate them down to the, the shelter and they their, their dogs play with it. All right, so now for the outside corner triangles, we need 12 and a half cut on the diagonal once and we need two of those to make four corners. All right, so that's six and a half and six, which makes 12 and a half. That's also for the extra pile over here. Do, do since these are 13s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Just need to take a half off to make it 12 and a half. There we go. And that's our leftover bit to go over into that pile. 
<laughs> we get extra toys, so three toys and three kinds of treats, two bags of yummies, one beef stick and something like that. Our dogs love it. I bet. So I thought Sophie would love that. I think I'm going to do that for her. I was humming and hawing. Germany, I bet they are. <laughs> <laughs> we, I remember our Ziva. She was a uh, pure German Shepherd. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was a uh, King Shepherd actually, because um, she, she was a big girl. She's about 120 pounds, and she was always hard on toys. <laughs> always hard on toys. <laughs> oh, I think I just made a boo boo cut. I cut twice, and I only should have cut once. Oh crap. Oh, I just made a boo-boo. Oh, noes. I got so wrapped up on what I had to do. Sugar plums. Oh, what a dork. All right, how can I fix this? If I put those two together, there we go. That's okay, brain fart moment. It's my mistake, not anybody else's. I can try and make it fit. I'll make it fit. Oh, that a little bit faster. My fault, completely and 110,000%. It's not thinking everything through and I should have. That's all right, lesson learned. Lesson learned. I have to do a little bit of trimming, but we can do it. It's not big enough. It's not big enough. That's I looked over there first. It's not wide enough. So we'll have to piece these two together. Mend my mistake. It's okay. Poop happens. Poop happens every day. <laughs> It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll have, may have to trim the other ones just a smidgey, but I'll work it. I'll work it. It's only a little bit. It's only a little bit. I still have my triangles though, so that's what matters, okay? That's what matters. All right, there. Do, 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 do. Now, let's get this. Hold on, let me just get something, some, take a, a, a two minute break here. Okay, sorry.
Sorry about that. Quick little potty break and wash my hands. Okay, so mine are that little boo-boo. That's okay, I think we're all right with that. Not a big mistake, really. That's okay. Um, Cause they go in the upper corners and we can, we can make a fit. We can make a fit. So now these ones here, it said, remember when I said make a, a plastic template, but I didn't have any plastic. So I took the pattern that was here and it said you had to add the quarter inch seam allowance to the side of, of this Dresden pedal. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't have any plastic. So I took a piece of cardboard, just a little bit of card stock sort of thing. And I had it sitting there and I put this over top and I took my pin one of my sharp pins here and punctured through the paper down into the cardboard to give me measurements of where I needed to make lines. So and then I took this away and then I took my ruler and my little black marker and I drew from the line to the line to the line to the line and over and cut it out and there's my Dresden template without plastic, okay? So think about it, you can get things done. So now what we need to do is cut, how many of these? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. 208. Who's coming to help? <laughs> 208. <sighs> this should be a six inch long with no seam allowance added. Uh, cut six inch widths of the variety of blueprints, lay the template crosswise uh, across the fabric using the rotary cutter and ruler, add a quarter inch to each of the template as you cut out patches. 208 Dresden petals. <laughs> 208? I know that's not as bad as some of the other ones. <laughs> My God. Okay, so if I have, all right, let's do our smathy smaths here. It says we have 16. So 16 goes into 208, how many times? How many am I supposed to get out of each strip of blue? You do the math, you got the calculator. I'm gonna be over here pressing, waiting for an answer. 16 blues to make 208 Dresdens. Mm -hmm. 13, okay, awesome. So we should be able to get 13 out of each one. So if that's a two, that's a four, that's a six, that's an eight. Oh, well, maybe not. We gotta figure this out. Hmm. So six inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They give you a nine. Hmm. Is that gonna be big enough for there? How big, how wide is that? It's wider than three. <sighs> Here, I'll put some of those blues there so you can take a look at them that we're gonna be working on. And then those are the corners and those are what we're gonna put on. <laughs> I don't have a Dresden cutter for that. 13, 13 out of each one? Really, I'm not sure how that's gonna happen. Hmm. So we did this, how long is this? Let's, let's, let's do that. So let's do that. So that is, that'd be enough to get two strips, six inch. Cut six inch widths of the variety of blueprints, lay the template across the fabric using the rotary cutter and ruler, add. Okay, well. So let's cut in six inches. Let's try the first one. If we bugger that up, we can always try again. Do 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 do. Bye, Rose. See you later. Have a great weekend. Do 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 do. Oh, let's turn this over here. Line that back up. Get ourselves a six. Come here, you. Don't give me no stress there, Blue. Don't give me no stress. All right, so this is the six. We'll cut that off. And that should give us four. Four, eight, 12. 
I can only see us getting 12. Ooh, well, well, we'll do her. We'll, we'll, we'll do her what we gotta do. Cause there's that left over for the back too. Hmm. Snaggly bottoms, snaggly bottoms, snaggly bottoms. She caused me so much stress. Hmm. All right, let's put this here. Papa sneaking the deviled eggs I made. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly not sneaking well enough, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so that's four. And flip our template over. And that would be eight, because we got four layers here stacked. That's eight, and then this will be 12. And I don't think we can get an extra one out of that, but we might be able to. Let's looky-loo afterwards, and maybe I'm, not, I'm panicking over nothing. It's a perfect time to panic! Okay, now, I don't think it's gonna be wide enough. No, it doesn't look wide. Oh, what, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, it's the same, almost the same width. Almost. That's probably workable. That's workable. Da, 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 that's workable. All right, look at all that extra. Could keep that one since we know we're going to have another one. Very nice. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh, you would like that, Marcy? Huh? Went after my deviled eggs. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> They're good, they get gobbled up fast. I made like 18 of them. So what's 18, 36, or 36 eggs. And I think there's only like eight left. And I made them just like Thursday afternoon. Hey, at least they get enjoyed. I'm okay with that. At least they get enjoyed. So once I get four different, um, these ones put together, we'll put, we'll put a square. We'll put one one together and we'll see how it looks. So I've only got one blue cut. Let me get a couple more cut here and we'll put a, a little Dresden square together. That's pretty fabric, isn't it? I like that. That's really pretty. Now, would it be better if I did it this way instead? So if I got that there, and that's to there, and then we were like here, because that'd be like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. I think that's actually the way we should be doing it, because I think we're actually gonna get our accurate one's out that way by putting it in the two, two strips of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these guys should give us our 12 without any issue, I think, and then we get an extra one out of that. And we get the other one out of that, not the extra, the other. Okay, so line that up. We need to trim this side. Put it there. Okay. Come on, you. And then here, lining this up. Not cutting the cardboard, just come a little bit beyond with your ruler so you're not cutting the cardboard. And then flip that template over, line it back up again. Make sure you got the edge right on where it's supposed to be for this side of it. Okay, and then line that back up. Okay. And there. Oops, stuck to my hand. 
Yeah, that's the better way to do it. Then we get an accurate 13th, because if we don't, then we it's a little bit short on one end, and we don't want that. Okay, so there we go. So that's that. And we need one more out of here. And then we can save the rest of the fabric. Okay. It's really getting that 13th one cut out is more of the tedious part. All right, 13, let's grab a couple more colors and then we'll put one together. 45 whole eggs at Christmas and made them into deviled eggs and there was, I, they get disappeared like fast, boop, gone. <laughs> I've got two growing up sons and my grandson on Friday. Oh, aren't you lucky, Ann? I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Nothing better than little ones and loved ones hang out with. Is Friday a special day for you? It's PA day here. So I'm, ho I'm hoping to get some of the the scrap pile cleaned up with the, in the quilt shop and get a little things more organized. I gotta get a couple of little storage bins. Uh, we need a new laundry basket. Apparently it decided it was gonna have its last day and the arms fell off and yeah, that was not fun. <laughs> All right, so do I like those four colors together? I think so, I think they look pretty. So let's do that one. Doo -doo -doo. And we'll do this one. And then we'll sew a couple together of these Dresdens and see what we're going to look like. Very nice. I like this one. It's got almost like a little acorn or something pattern to it. It's got a little tiny leaf and then little fleurs on it. Little tiny fleurs! <laughs> All right, let's cut our two six. Pa six packs here. Mm -hmm. Line these up. Now that we know what we're doing. Sorta. Sorta. Two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Now take these. Stack them. Stack them in the whack them. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> stacking and whacking them. Okay, so put that there, up at the top. Cut this part off, line that up right against the edge of my template. Okay, and then here, this side. here for that side. And here for that side. It looks like there's a little bit left over for scrappy stuff. I mean, I didn't think anything too major, but you know. There we go. All right, let's start putting some of these blue guys together. Okay. Oh, no, I need one more out of each of these. That's right. One more. That's definitely the better um, sequence to use the fabric for sure. It's going sideways instead of the long ways. Perfect, here we go. All right, now let's sew these guys. Okay, well, saying for the Dresden, it says fold the petal lengthwise with wrong sides together. Wrong sides together? And sew along. Wouldn't you think right sides together? Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it is this way. And then you press it, f oh no, okay, maybe they got their own thing. Whatever, hey, hey, hey. Mm. 
Yeah, they want you to flatten the seam on the outside, not the inside. So it does say wrong sides together. Okay. Well, that's the first I've ever had to do that. That should be interesting. All right, let's do all those. Doo -doo -doo. I have to tilt my monitor here because the sun's shining in so much. I can barely see. Here we go. <laughs> let's do some sewing. Look at that beautiful sunlight. Beautiful sunlight. I do too, Deanne, with lots of scrappy blues. And you could do this with your own, right? Your own collection. So, okay, wrong, this is gonna be hard to remember, wrong sides together. That's just something I'm not used to doing. All right, so we can chain piece all of these that we have here, and we can make at least one block. Now it does say quarter inch from edge, okay. Ready. No, you're not. I think I'm gonna switch my foot. That, oh, okay, probably, considering they're turning to the outside, not to the inside. That's actually how, when I was thinking about it there, uh, Gwenny. I appreciate that. It did make me think for a moment. I was like, oh, okay, because it's small and the seam allowance, it would have be a lot up in the tip there, so. Oops, just switching out my foots here. And I, want, I want my quarter. Hold there while I hand tighten and always use your screwdriver to make sure it is on there. Never just go with the hand tightened. I don't think that's uh, just enough. Mm -hmm. Congrats, Annie. March is a good month. Hubby's B Day is on the 7th, Sun's on the 14th, and our anniversary is on the 19th. It's a busy month for Mar uh, Munchkin, too. He, he turns 23 on the 22nd. And, right? Yes. 23 on the 22nd. That's been hard to try and get around. <laughs> 23. My goodness. Okay, that's much better with that quarter inch foot allowance. Uh, trying to feed these under here to get them all done. Remember, wrong sides together. I know that sounds so opposite to what we're used to doing, but for these Dresdens, that's what we have to do. Youngest son shares a birthday with my mom. Aw, that's kind of cool. I don't think we have anybody's got close to. Actually, only um, Munchkin and Pop sisters, uh, or, or our, our youngest niece, um, Sarah Lynn, uh, they're only a week apart, a week and a day apart. So, uh, uh, birthday-wise, but, you know, there's 16 years in difference in between them. <laughs> because I think she turns six and Munchkin turns 23, so. And then I got my great niece. She'll be like three in August, I think. It's unbelievable how time flies. Unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Uh, bye, Deanne, or Diane, okay, I have to go, not feeling well, but had to, oh, I'm sorry, I hope you feel better. That sucks when you're not feeling well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to sew all these here, and then we'll put four of them together and make our little corner patch without our little center dot, because I think I need some uh, fusible web for that, but that's okay. I got to get a couple of zippers anyways from the fabric store. See it pops up for a drive after the live stream and we can go get those zippers. I still have to get the gold binding fabric for the cardinal quilt. I wanna get that done so I can stack it away for next year. It's been hanging out beside the sewing desk just over there. I'm like, oh, I gotta keep going. I keep forgetting to go over and grab the material. Why do you sew them, sew them together with the, on their right sides? It's because of the bulk it's adding. Uh, I'll show you actually, I'll show you on this one here. I'll show you. Cause it, it's adding bulk to the inside. Instead, they want you to add it to the outside. Cause you're not gonna see it anyways, right? So let's go here. And then when we go to press this, we're gonna press this down like this. If Pop can get in there close to where my needle is, you can see. 
And then we're gonna press the seam open, it says. It says press it open. So put it down there and then put it down there. And then that just disappears, okay? Just like that. Does that help? And then, hold on, I'll turn it around so you can see. And then that's a cute little Dresden shape it makes, okay? There. I know, it, this, it said the right side. I think because there's a lot of bulk here, Heli, I think there's a lot of bulk here and it might be too much for that inside of this tiny little Dresden. So maybe that's it. I mean, we can try and attempt to flip it the other way and maybe you won't get your precise point that you were looking for. It looks okay to me. I mean, look, it's all right. It's not, there's nothing wrong there. So, I mean, it's your choice. I'm just trying to follow the, 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 the directions and the destructions of this pattern. And it says, with wrong sides together, so long end. So, yeah. I did what the, when we did the big flowers for my nieces, the big huge uh, orange, orange and yellow scrappy quilt and the big flowers, I, I put it to the inside. Yeah, me too, me too, Heli. Hence why I wanted to show you why they were asking to do it that way. But, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you have to, Lucy B. <laughs> I'm just following the destructions that they say because I figure they know their pattern and they should make it turn out the best but if I follow their pattern. I think so anyways. I love all these little blues. They're gonna look so pretty on this quilt. I hope it turns out pretty enough that I can send it to my mom. <laughs> and I thank Claudette very much for the inspiration and the kit and her generosity with her fabric. She sent a bunch of fabric, made a bag, we made a, um, a biker cap, welder's cap, we made, um, it was the uh, border, part of the border part for the world quilt. She's very, been very generous with her fabric, that's for sure. Creative license, exactly. <laughs> well, that's why I figured the flower part. That has a lot of creative license in it itself, right? Because you can do a bit of bit different stuff with that, right? You can do the hearts, you can do a tulip, you can do a daisy, you can do whatever you like. There's, there's lots of things that you can play with on that one itself. They're just helping with the lineup part there, so you could do whatever you wanted. Fussy cut flowers or make your own flower. Or do an applique or embroidery. Oh, oh, Mopey's sleeping. She scared me there. She's dreaming. She was barking at somebody. She's dreaming. Hopefully it's a good dream. <laughs> mm hmm Do, do, do. Oh, thank you, Jimmy Queenie Ro Robles, 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 Jimmy's Queenie Robles. How do, you, how do you say that? Did I get that wrong? I want to get it right. I want to get it right. I really, really do. I really, really do. <laughs> uh, my mom is one of my... And just had three birthdays. One my, and one of my cousins just had three birthdays. Oh wow, that's that's like literally one month right after Christmas. Do they feel like they get chipped off a little bit? <laughs> oh, you got your package already, Patricia! Yay! Thank goodness for Saturday delivery! Yay! Patricia got her package. Patricia got her package. Patricia got her package. Just 12 more of you to go, <laughs> I think. <laughs> awesome! Yay! You're welcome. Thank you for being a subscriber of the channel and congratulations to you. I forgot what you won, Patricia. Share. What was it? What was it? Was it the panel? I think you had one of the panels, didn't you? Mm, I can't remember. Or were you the quilt? Ro Robles. Robles. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Jimmy's Queenie Robles. Robles. 
Robles, I'll get it. No quilt. Mm. Oh, so you got the... Okay, so no to the quilt or you know you got the quilt? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Shiny object. Mm. Oh, Glenda, you found the pattern? Yay! Awesome! Oh, well, even odd, even better. We tried to look for it and we couldn't. And we were trying to look for Quilter's Paradise, but they were not there, so. Oh, you did get the quilt. Okay, you did get the um, the little bird told me. The little bird told me. With that beautiful paisley uh, flannel backing on that one. It's beautiful, it matches the front amazingly. It looks so pretty. <coughs> and we had that hanging up in the shop here for a little while, and I'm like, I'd love to give this away. It's one of my favorites. <coughs> I can't wait to see where you put it. Dresses are relatively simple. Just need to remember to fold and sew right sides together. Of course, I speak from past experience. And this one's telling you to sew the wrong sides together. So, Donna Faye's here. You want a sewing machine? <gasps> what? What kind of sewing machine, Donna Faye? Tell us, share with us. We want to know, we want to see an unboxing, baby. Come on. We want to see an unboxing. Mm -mm -mm. Not from us. <laughs> <coughs> Baby let CQ zest? Oh, I don't even think I've heard of that. We'll have to see what that looks like. <coughs> Apologize. Tickle in my throat here. I know I don't have to sew all of these together, but I'm going to sew all of them together before I put one together. So, hope you're okay with that. I don't know how many cut, but I'm going to do the all of these out of the four. Well, four times 13 is 26, 72, 72 of them at uh, 208. That's not a bag chunk. That's not, that's like a third. That's like a third. We're getting there. I will post pictures in the Mafia group later on. Yay! <coughs> Sorry, I apologize <coughs> for coughing. <coughs> I think I was getting too excited. I apologize. It is beautiful blue, isn't it, Nadia? Very nice. And exactly, Jimmy Queen. Big congrats to Miss Donna Faye. Mm -hmm. So what do we think of the uh, Weave a Bee? Do we like my little side parts I put on here? Isn't that kind of pretty? And I don't know what it is, Nadia. I, it's just a stupid tickle. It seems like a, the more I talk, the more it acts up. But my mom is the same way. Whenever we talk on the phone, but she, it's like a five minute conversation with her and then she starts to cough. So uh, I think it's hereditary of some sort. I don't know what the heck it is. It's really annoying. Cough, 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 cough. It's just annoying. I'm drawn to the quilt in the back. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it, Holly? It's one of my favorites. But I still have a few spots that I've marked with pins. Like right here, it's not quite the quart. It's, I don't know, it's like a quarter inch off. And here, it's are very tiny, but I still want to make a note of it. Up there, it's very minimally, it's just a smidgen, just a smidgen off, but it's still enough to annoy me. Um, between the smidgen and a quarter, those are the ones I'm tweaking. So other than that, it looks really good. I mean, from there on the camera, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. I love the way the color weave is and how it looks like it is a weave and how I blended the colors, even though I didn't follow the program of what they wanted the design. Oh, that's a cute little machine. Is that what you want? That's beautiful, Donna Faye. Nice little machine. That's a good size neck in there too. That's a good size neck. Throat space, very nice. Oh, thank you. I'm happy you're here, Nadia. I feel lucky. I feel lucky that all of you are here. Well, you went to the quilt show at the village yesterday, saw so many beautiful quilts. I bet. Did you find some you were just gonna take? <laughs> 
Is it a heavy machine, Donna Faye? You, all you need is a jelly roll, a Jimmy Queen, and uh, uh, what was it, four, well, I'd say even just three, three yards of the regular of a solid fabric. And then with that colorful jelly roll, that's the ombre, but you can do it in solid as well. We actually have a solid kit in the white that we're going to do for our Patreon people. And they get it, of course, everybody who works, uh, uh, is involved in Patreon gets a chance to win the quilts that we make on Patreon, every single one. So all the ones that we make on Patreon are given away. We don't keep any of them. Thanks, Pop. It helps. It helps us. And it helps with mailing your packages, like uh, the for all the winners. That was the one to we sent a quilt over to Finland from for Carrie Bernard. She got the um, triple Irish chain from the Christmas collection, and I was very surprised at the cost that it took to get from here to Finland. Let's just put it that way. But that's okay. That's okay. That's the bonuses of Patreon, and you guys pay for your shipping, and you pay for the work that I do on the quilts, and you get rewarded with one. So, it's a lightweight, that's good to know. It's a cute little machine, I like it. It's a cute little machine there. And thanks, Pop, for sharing with everybody. That was really nice of you. That was super cute. I want to try two colors. Hmm. Is it an illusion that there is one vertical peach line just behind your head that looks like it's going over one too many horizons? It's, there's, you, know, you only get two colors and you do, um, you can lay it over different ways. It's just, it's weird. It's, you can do whatever you want with it really as you make your squares out. So it's your, as someone said, your quilters or uh, sewers interpretation. You could do whatever you like. I laid it out the way that it seemed appealing to me and the color flow of it and the brightness of it and I could still see the weave of it, so I went with it. Less mechanical, oh, looks mechanical, less to go, oh, oh, with the sewing machine? Uh, probably a few basic stitches steps and, uh, and, and off you go. All you need is a straight stitch and a locking stitch. That's really it. Uh, a decorative foot, or not foot, uh, stitch. Yeah, look, it's got like eight to 10 stitches there you can putter away at. Mm -hmm, doo -doo -doo. Very nice. All right, I'm almost done these blue Dresden parts, this part anyways, the 72 that I cut. And I wanna make one of these before we end the show today. I'm trying to figure out what the time it was. Jeez, it's going by fast. Oh my goodness. I love hanging out with you guys. All right, a few more to go. I'm not sure what that is, but I'll put that over there. Doo -doo. It looks pretty, I like it. I like it in the background. It may take me a while to get it quilted up because I like it so much as my background. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll show you what the uh, Patreon top ended up looking like once I put the uh, border um, on it for Lynette. Lynette Craig is the winner of that Patreon quilt and it's being quilted up with red thread, red flannel backing and a maple leaf stitch out. All right, look at that. Anybody going for a party? Do 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 party party. <laughs> All right, let's cut some of these apart, and we'll get our four different ones we want together to make at least one uh, square. Oh, yeah, I did that right. Mm. Donna Ferry, you are one lucky lady winner here. Jordan Fabrics, and now a new machine. Oh, that's right. <gasps> I remember that saying, you said that too, Pat, that she was the winner of the Jordan fabrics. What did you win there, Donna Faye, besides, for the fabrics part for Jor from Jordan? What was it that you won? I'm always curious what people win. And did you have to pay for your own shipping? Because we don't do any of that. You don't have to pay any of your shipping. You don't have to pay any for anything. Our gift to you is our gift to you. You don't have to pay anything. Mm-hmm. Do-do-do. 
So please just finish hand piecing my 12th Lucy Boston blocks. Uh, slow going, but I only work on them when mom and pop stream got a lot done on Thursday. I bet you did because we were there for four hours, baby. <laughs> uh, three hours, sorry, not four. I thought we were going to be there for four. I budgeted four in the timeline, so but I was actually happy to get those baby quilts done before Pop had to take them for Friday, so for the weekend project. So I was happy to get that done, and because I had to get the binding on both of them, put make little labels for both of them, get them all quilted up. So it was kind of a time crunch between because we spent three hours uh, uh, live streaming. So we spent an hour setting up stuff, making sure we knew what buttons to push since Pop wasn't here. <laughs> it was Munchkin and I running the show, and you know. When you leave the monkeys to run the show, sometimes you end up with a circus. <laughs> she free shipping for prizes worldwide. Oh, awesome. That's good. Good, 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 good. You never know. Sometimes you just, hey, you won this, but you gotta pay 40 bucks for shipping. No, I don't think so. All right, so four different ones. And now I get to pick. One of these that I want to work on, let's do this one, just out of randomness, because, because, because. So I like that one, and I like that one, and I like that one, and I like this one. Okay, so what do we do after this? Uh, centering seam in the middle of the pedal, press seam open and edges flat to form pedal point. So and press all pedals. Stitch petals together by laying petals right sides together and lining up edges. So with accurate one quarter seam allowance. So 16 petals together to form a flower. Press the flat with seam allowance, but I want those ones I want. So remaining petals into four groups of four. These will be used as the border. Make 36 uh, quarter flower units. So we just, well, this will be one. All right, so let's press. Let's go over here and press. All right. Let's get these babies done here to make our first little block. I'm so excited. All right, it says press open. So let's take the tip of the iron there and try not to burn ourselves. Seriously? Come on, you. Holy Pete's sakes, man. Seriously? Come on. Herk. There we go. I'm going to press to one side. Good gravy. That's just annoying. Is it seriously going to make a difference? I don't think so. Okay. Mm, I think you have to press that corner. That corner, because it either flips or flops either side. So you got to press that flat. Oh, okay, that's annoying. I'd rather tuck that in. I would have showed have sewn them all the other way. That's okay. Lesson learned. Okay, what I'm trying to do is, because this was flipping, you can see just that little bit. Can you see this on the small camera here? That little bit is gonna be able to be, be visible and you want to be able to have it so it's pressed flat so you can't see it. But if you would have done it the other way, as people were saying, right sides together instead of wrong sides together, you wouldn't have ended up with this problem. All right. We're gonna make it work. By golly, we're gonna make it work. Okay, there's one. There's two. Like I understand why they wanted you to do it this way, because it's that's a bit much in there in the in the in the center. But still. Right. Seems a bit weird. Okay, so that'd be two together. Can you see that? They look okay together, don't they? Put them there. Put this over here. All right, you just gotta lay that flat too. A little finger manipulation here, but you'll get it. Just try not to burn your fingers. That's what you don't want. Oh, those are pretty colors together. Love those blues. Love the mix of blues. The lights and the darks and the little patterns and the little swirls. I think they all work really nice together. Oh, 
Yeah, I think all of our Quilts of Valor that we're going to do are going to be those like Thursday live stream. Last Thursday of the month. Well, obviously not this month because there's happened to be five Thursdays in November. I mean, January. I don't know where November came from. Um, what is it? Uh, I might try clipping do. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, that's, what's that in regard to? To win 60 go. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Mary Jo. <laughs> they look like mini trees. I guess they kind of do, don't they? I didn't think about that. They kind of do. Mm -hmm. All right, so now it says to sew them with an accurate one quarter seam allowance together. Okay, so I got to figure out who wants in the middle, who wants on the end. And they said any trimming that you need to do needs to be on this outside edge that has nothing to do with the Dresdens because this edge and this edge is going to be dealing with the Dresdens as it goes on a curve on the quarter inch uh, or quarter part of this block here so if you do any trimming at all it has to be on these outside ones so you're not lopping off anything on the inside here so i kind of like those two together and those two together and those two together because it's just enough of a variation color wise to keep them separate yeah what do we think of that one does that little one look okay i think it looks pretty thank you kathy Uh, oh, the open seam? Yeah, it was a bit of a pain. Oh, you meant clipping at the top? Is that what you meant? The very, very tippy top here? Make it listen to me. That kind of sticks to the outside, but I guess you can always trim that little buddy off because he's going to be hiding underneath. Uh, I guess there's always options. Uh, yeah, there's options. Okay, so I like those ones. Oh, bye, Claire! Gotta go prep for dinner, baked ham, sweet potatoes. Ooh, damn, oh, that's, I think you're making plans for dinner to me. <laughs> no, I think we already had plans, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We already had plans. It's meat sauce, that's right. Munchkin was supposed to be doing that. Okay, accurate one quarter seam allowance. I sewed another pattern with wrong sides together instructions. I trimmed dog ears and it really, that really aren't dog ears, but the tips of the seam. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Hey, Gwenny, do you ever go to Calgary? Is anybody in Calgary? Will you go visit my mom? <laughs> <laughs> Tell her I made something by myself and I'm not a bum. <laughs> She's not doing very well, and I miss her. That's all. I just can't get the chance to see her. She's so far away. All right, now put those two and two packs together and sew down. Mm. <clears throat> all right, oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? That's four. Four out of 36. Mm -hmm. All right, let's press those and then we'll place them where they need to be on the block. And then we're gonna have to get some fusible webbing and stuff to make the circle, the circle part of the, the quarter circle, which would be that right there, which we do have to add a, a seam allowance to. So we gotta line these two raw edges right up in the center here. And then we can pin those, do a little stitch along here, a little stitch along here, and then we can applique or whatever fancy stitch we want to do to keep these outside points together. Isn't that pretty? I love that, that's pretty. I'll put it to the small camera here too so you can see it. There we go. And then the little bit of yellow right there in the center. I think that'd be very nice. You had your last surgery in Calgary because Edmonton wasn't available at the time? Oh, oh, sorry, I had it down too low. There we go. I think it looks pretty. I'm very excited to put this together. Thank you very much, Claudette. 
Hope you get a chance to watch this video. It's beautiful. When she sent it, when she sent the whole kit, I'm like, I'll make this for you and send it to you. She's like, I don't want it. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> this would be such a fun project. I love it. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so let's just stitch down here and here <coughs> to keep these two together. Do a little, very tiny, like an eighth, just to come across that circle. I know it's gonna get tucked down later, but I really wanna keep things in place. And I'm hugging right the side, like an eighth. I'm not, it's gonna be hidden in any sort of seam allowance. Now, would you choose a blue thread to zigzag this all, not zigzag, or maybe applique this all down? I don't, I don't know what, I don't, you have the round Dresden plate kit? Oh, round Dresden. Okay, yeah, 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 I've seen that one. I've seen that one too. I think most of our flowers were the round one, weren't they? Blue? Yeah, I think so too, Lucy B. You gotta use blue thread. Means means you gotta change out the foot and stuff. I gotta find blue thread. Maybe I don't. I don't. Maybe I don't have. I I don't know if I have any blue thread to do for that. Hold on, let me look. Hmm, not enough to do all of it, but enough to do some. We could do that. That's a pretty blue. I can pick up more of those or mix the blues. Oops, as I go along. That would be kind of fun too, having a mix of blues. All right. Okay, let's move this out here, put our different foot on to do the app. I'm gonna do an applique stitch. I'm gonna do a nice little applique stitch this time around. Not a zigzag. Going to the store. We might be, honey. <laughs> if you feel like driving. Might want to message Munchkin to go warm up the car. <laughs> Since it's minus 22 with the wind chill. F Monday is going to be horrible. OMGs. 20 centimeters of snow and like minus 33. I don't get it. Why does it got to be so mean? All right. Applique stitch. I like that one. That one. That one. That one. Now we're gonna change. I don't think we need the bobbin to change as long as the top is consistent with the blue that we're looking for. So just need to find my little small foot there. Uh, with my actually sewing student that was here, we learned a lot, or he learned a lot about thread and the quality of thread. Mm. <laughs> so short sweater, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, oh, I did. I did bring my old lady glasses. Yeah, it might be a snow day too. I hear you, Kathy, because you're not very far from us. We're supposed to get 20 centimeters of snow. I figured it'd be a no bus day at least, not maybe a no school day. They don't. They do not close the schools unless it's minus 35. Minus 35. That's in the negatives. Without the wind chill. So it has to be temperature outside of minus 35 without any wind chill involved. And so far this year I've dealt with minus 35, wind chill, uh, minus 32, minus 33, <laughs> as it's been progressed along, but not temperature of minus 35 yet. So we did have that a couple of years ago. Was the, I think the first time they actually closed the school because of the temperature. And that was my first time in 10 years. So I was kind of like, wow. All right, now we're gonna do a little applique stitch around this blue Dresden. Oh, that looks pretty. Good choice, people. Good choice. And then stop and pivot as it comes to the top. And you're working down each side. Don't forget to lift your foot and adjust. Cause some things are not always gonna work in your favor sometimes. So you gotta lift your foot and adjust and make sure things are all tucked in, all those raw edges. And you're getting the desired applique effect that you want. If, if it's not what you want, then do something different. 
do the zigzag or do the hand. You can do it by hand. This is a perfect example. Get all these bits all sewn together and then do all 36 of them by hand. You know, son's playing hockey, <clears throat> daughter's figure skating or, you know, husband's playing hockey or whatever or badminton. I don't know, whatever. Not that any, I don't, does anybody play badminton anymore? <laughs> There's sometimes people have a lot of, you know, they're waiting for something, so they know they have to wait a couple hours each week for something in particular, or, you know, or, or wait things out. They, this would be a good time to do the hand stitching part of it. Oh, that's pretty. I'll put that up to the small iron camera so you can see that. Oh, that's block one. Look at us go, block one. And then this yellowy bits, I don't think it matters which one because it gives you so many to choose from. Let's just pick this one right here and we'll put that there. Move that up a bit and see how pretty that looks. Oh, I love it. That's gonna look so bright and beautiful together. Below zero, but it was, oh yeah, it was. It was pretty frigid. Let's just say I had hand warmers in my hands and hand warmers in my boots the other day. Because <laughs> it was cold. It was really cold. Knee lift works great with applique. It does. I do have a knee lift with my machine. I just never used it because not a lot of people have knee lifts. And I don't want to be that one person that says, oh, well, you need to buy this, you know, $10,000 machine before you can, you know, sew with me sort of thing. I just foot up way I go I don't think of it as the uh, uh, I just want everybody to think you, you got the same tools that I have and we can make it work whether you have a big machine or a little machine I just happen to have auto cut and I happen to have you know when I put my foot down to sew something it goes like I don't have to go put my foot down and put my needle down you know, and I have needle down positions. When it stops, the needle is down in its position without any issue. It's not going to move anything. So, looks French country. Oh, awesome. I wonder if it says anything on there. This is just Dresden Flower Patch by Colette Belt from Quilters Paradise, but apparently it doesn't work. Uh, they don't exist anymore. And it's a 2003 pattern. So, so their fabric requirements of the background is four to five yards of the background. Say if you just want to use a solid color, you want, didn't want to have, you don't have all these 16 prints of mixed in that and so on and so forth, then just it's four to five yards. And then the Dresden blues is 16 prints at a quarter yard each. And yellows are five prints at an eighth yard, green stems at uh, a quarter yard and green leaves at two prints at an eighth of a yard set in triangles at one yard, binding is at three quarters of a yard, and then backing is at four and one quarter yard. And then it's asking for fusible web and lightweight fusible interfacing uh, to make the circles and stuff like that. So that's it. That is it. Very easy. Very simple and easy. It's very cute. I love how the sunshine is coming in here. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful sunshine. There we go. And that's what we made today. Isn't that lovely? I've had my machine for about 10 years. I've never tried the knee lift. Oops. <laughs> I never attached it because I figured I'm, I don't know. I got, I, I don't know. I'll save it for when I need it. I've been meaning to tell you your videos are very clear and bright. Oh, thank you. We try that. We have an uh, awesome camera system. Uh, both camera systems, except this one, unfortunately, for the where it was normally focuses right here on the little uh, the side. We call it the close-up cam, and then there's the iron cam, and then there's the big cam. Um, we did uh, with all the rewards that we've gotten for YouTube and Patreon. We invested in good, good equipment. We don't want a blurry show. We don't want a half put-in show. We want to give you what you deserve, which is 4K excellence. So that's what we try to give away. That's what we try to give to you guys is excellent, clear quality shows. Um, <laughs> it's all crazy, Vicki. It's all crazy in here. I don't even realize they sing anymore. I, I don't even, I don't even realize I do. It's just out there.
<laughs> Pops videos are awesome. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, he hasn't asked me for any advice. Uh, I haven't offered it either. Uh, if he comes and asks me for anything, I tell him what, we, what he has to do, and then I just leave it at that. I don't, I don't come in here. Uh, I don't take it off the belts. I, I make sure it's on the 12 stitches per inch, but that's it. The rest is all up to him. I, I don't, he hasn't asked me. I don't want to interfere. That's his project with his uh, desire and uh, love to put into it. So I don't want to interfere with it because that, that's all his. So it's all good. It's all good. Uh, work monitor needs to be upgraded to 4K. Yes, it does. <laughs> we are 4K all the time. <laughs> What about, you know, I don't know, you know. <laughs> the content, however, question mark, question. What do you mean by that, Lucy B? Hmm? <laughs> do, do, do. No, he's been doing great on the long arm. I'm very proud of him. Very, very proud of him. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. We put our, our money back into what you guys give us, and so we give you good quality videos and uh, and and hopefully good content to watch and enjoy. Only just you are you. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that Lucy B. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rebecca. Joshing. Oh, only joshing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't take it as offensive, Lucy B. No worries. <laughs> Water off a duck's, duck's back. It doesn't bother me much. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We have a lot of fun. And I'm glad Pop is coming out of a normal comfort zone for him and adventuring off into something new and different. And he's having a lot of fun. I can tell. I can tell he's having a lot of fun. Because he'll come out and go, hey, do you, come tell me how you think this looks. I'm like, it looks amazing. He's like, really? I go, yes, it does. It looks awesome. F fantastic on the meandering. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's all good, Lucy B. It's all good. Yeah, meandering was superb, wasn't it? He actually has that down pat. I think I might send him onto a quilt. <laughs> And, he, and you understand where you, oh, you come up too sharp. Okay, that makes a point. You didn't realize it made a point, but you do now. So come down a little bit more smooth movement with the heads of the machine, you know, because you're driving it like you're, you know, the Red Baron sort of thing. And you're, you know, you're driving it this way. So you're like, nah, nah, nah. you're drawing with an eye of the needle with two hands. That's how you have to think of it. You're drawing as a width of an eye of a needle with two hands as you're going around. So it's movement. There's a lot of times I'm only one-handed because I feel, especially if it's off the belts and I have so much freedom with it, I can take it wherever it needs to go, just one-handed, do, 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 without too much of a thought. Sometimes I need to spread my hand on the quilt to make sure, um, you know, it's like stabilizing it in my mind, even though it's not going anywhere, but it all works out. Mm. And meandering is awesome. It's a good, fun way to fill up a quilt in no time at all, and you don't even have to think too much about it. Your hubs is natural at the long run. I think Pop is going to be a natural, too. I think Munchkin will as well, and I think Munchkin is actually interested in quilting up his block of the month for 2019. So you see that at the end of the year. End of the year, you might see Munchkin quilting up his own block of the month, and I think I would be totally thrilled with that. You only use meandering? I use the loops and the stars and the hearts with the meandering between and around, and it makes lots of fun stuff. You can do circles and whatever and fill it all in, dense, medium, large. It, it gets it done. It gets it done. You could have even done it bigger than what Papa did, so. <laughs> we do. He gets paid. He gets paid, Lucy B. He, did, he gets paid. There's lots of things that he does around here, and he gets paid for it. 
Mm -hmm. Haven't done much, too much free motion quilting. It'll become natural as you go along there, Heather. You'll be more confident in yourself as, as you test yourself and take on small projects, place mat, table runner, that sort of thing. And then you're working your way up to a baby quilt, lap quilt, queen size quilt, or twin size, and then so on and so forth. And you can always use your walking foot. You can use the, um, you know, just a curvature, just making points at the halfway mark so you know you're coming your curve and you're ending at the half and then back again and then filling in between quilts do not need to be densely quilted we're talking like a hand space in between so you're thinking four to five inches that's enough space in between your quilting you can just do weaves and wobs and fill it all in and it still be fantastic and all hold together so yeah exactly only gets better by practice hello utah <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if we actually have a link to the pattern, but uh, we'll try. It is the Dresden flower patch. I'll put it in the iron camera here, as well as the block we did in the little iron camera here, so you can see. And uh, that's one of 36. <laughs> I make it look easy. <laughs> oh, for pot, probably. Probably he does. <laughs> I need to learn to long arm hubs. Just had a birthday this month, 79. Awesome, congrats. Congratulations. And happy you're here from Bulgaria. Mm hmm indeed. Yeah, that's what we're working on. Beautiful little yellow fabrics, beautiful little green fabrics. There's only two colors here. One is very on the light side and one is uh, very much the, I, I'm assuming is the stem and the leaves for those two there. So that'll be nice as it comes together. So we'll plug away at a few more. I'll get some of these uh, other blues cut by next week and we'll put a bunch more blocks together. I'm hoping to put a couple of big ones uh, to get this all spaced out properly. Oops, hold on, I just wanna show you what it's gonna look like here, here. So we've pretty much done one of those little tiny squares right there. Oh, sorry, I went back to the iron camera, honey. Uh, yeah, we've done one of those little tiny ones there. So we have 36 of these to do, and then four of these big ones to do on four squares. So we're gonna have to sh uh, sew four of our background fabrics together to be able to put those together all the way around. And that's gonna look neat, isn't it? It's gonna look very neat. And then there's our beautiful flower part that we have to build out. And there's a placement on the fold that the flower goes up the center. And these, of course, are tulips. But you can choose any flower you like. You can do whatever you like. Hearts, stars, whatever. Actually, we're just about to end there, Sonia. Sorry. Sorry, we're just talking about a few things and showing off our work that we did today. Got a bunch of these to press. <laughs> At least, what, 68? No, I made 72, so 68. <laughs> yeah, there's the uh, pattern there. And if you want one of our beautiful, lovely t-shirts, and of course, I think it says it on the back, doesn't it? Or is this one plain? I forget. I should say quilting so much, is so much fun, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, quilting with friends, nothing better. There we go. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us today. We greatly appreciate it. And we will see you next Saturday on the continuation of this project of the Dresden Flower Patch. Beautiful, here we go. Thanks everybody. Big hugs to you and we will see you on, well you see Pop on Monday, see me on Wednesday and see me on Friday and then see me on Saturday. Can't get rid of me. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Enjoy the sunshine. Big hugs from us, okay? See you later.